Okay, in this video I'm going to show you a little bit about uh, Maze Phase 3. Maze Phase 3 is where you're going to begin making a random maze. So that lame maze that you created in the beginning, who cares about that? You're going to make a random maze and then solve that random maze. Um, what you want is you want to rig this up so that when you run it, it looks like this. So, by the way, you're going to have to make yourself a new button. You're going to have to set up that button. And you want this button, when it's pressed, um, you want to rig it up so that it will call it will call step carve. So um, that'll be fun. You also want first things first. When you go to the maze frame constructor, you want to um, comment out carve a lame maze so that when you run it, you don't have that lame maze. It, it'll just look like that. You can also uncomment carve a random maze. Um, now carve a random maze at this moment is really not excited but what you want to do is basically you want to make it look like this so um, something like that and that would give you this red look bloop, bloop. then You want to s randomly select a an entrance, um, eh, you can make him blank or visited for right now. You also want to do this, you also need to get the stack ready. Now I would use a different cell stack. Um, I would have one, just so it's less confusing, have one for solving and one for making. Um, you, get, you really wouldn't have to, but I think it's less confusing. So get, get your cell stack ready, um, which means um, you want to push, uh, push the entrance and set that entrance um, to be visited. So once you've done all of that, that means when you run it, it should look like this. You set, so again, the constructor will no longer ca carve a lame maze. Instead, he will carve a, he'll call carve a random maze, which really doesn't carve a random maze. All it does is get ready for the carving by setting a bunch of things to be dead. Dead, 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 dead. Randomly picks you, randomly picks you, makes you blank, and I need to get him, him on the stack and get him to be visited. So, then, all that was all just set up. Once you've got that set up, now this button's going to take over. Every time you press that button, it should call um, this, no, it should call step carve. Uh, and step carve should carve the next step. Now the PowerPoint notes will show you exactly what's going on, but um, it's very similar to solving except for you can you knock down walls. So right here, you make a list of the places you might go. I will not, this guy will not make the list because he's visited. He's blank, he's blank, he's blank. They'll all make the list. I'll pick one, any, meeny, miny, you. And when I, whichever one I pick, I put him on the stack. He's visited, knocked down the walls, you're happy. And so every time you hit reset, now I can't predict what it's going to do because it's randomly making decisions, knocking down walls. Each click of this button is one move, one knockdown. Now, um, I really want him to get stuck in the dead end, but he won't. Okay, here it comes, here it comes. Now, at this moment, this next time I press this, there are no options for me to go to. He, you're visited, you're visited, you're visited, you, you are visited. So the list of places I might go has nobody on it. So when I do this, that means I will have to back up. And that's going to happen again, because when I press it again, you're dead, you're, vi oh, sorry, I just lied. You're dead, you're visited, you're visited, you're blank. So the list of people I'm gonna, I might go to has exactly one person on it, so I'm gonna go here. But now, from here, visited, 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 all my neighbors are visited, so the list of places I might go is has nobody on it, so I will back up. And then basically you'll just have, if you just keep pressing this button over and over and over again, you would eventually carve out a maze. Now, let me show you an interesting little trick. Uh, I didn't find the exit, I didn't find the exit, I didn't find the exit. Okay, right here. I found the exit. But, 
if I just keep clicking, I'll eventually back all the way back out. And I'll find, an, and I will leave this awesome maze like that. And that would that's all you have to do for phase three is just this button calls step carve. Step carve does that. Again, check out the PowerPoint notes for you know a little more detailed analysis of what you're gonna do, what functions you're gonna write. Have fun with maze phase three.